This new shop stool claims to be able to roll over extension cords without falling over or causing injury. Is this true? Hey everybody, my name's Chris. Thanks for joining me today. I am going to give you an unbiased review of, yes, no sponsorship here, paid for this with my own money, of one of the most expensive but luxurious shop stools that you will ever lay your eyes on. Is it worth it? Well, wait till the end to find out. Let's go. So before we dive into this whole thing, there are three aspects of this video that I want you to know about. The first is assembly and use of the chair. Second is customer service. I made a mistake in my order and I had to call them about it and I'm gonna tell you how all that went. And thirdly is gonna be essentially, is it worth $600 or so, give or take, for a shop stool? Crazy, I know. All right, let's go. All right, so let's first find out what's in the box. What's in the box? <laughs> So let's start unboxing this thing. I gotta tell you, the attention to detail is already prevalent when you unbox this, seeing how everything is packaged and everything just is really tight and precise. Really well done. So like I said before, this is unsponsored. I paid for this with my own money. I actually went to the website to order one of these and figured I would call them. And I spoke to a gentleman named Henry there and he walked me through the entire process for about 20 or 30 minutes. We decided to go with this kind of gray and black and silver motif kind of like the cars we have as well. So I kind of like this look and we're gonna unbox all the hardware and I do recommend when you do do any project like this, whether it's a chair like this or something from Ikea, you separate your hardware into little bins like I've got here, whatever you wanna use, make sure you stay organized. So one thing is immediately obvious is how well this thing is made. Honestly, the hardware goes together really well. The pieces are powder coated great. Everything lines up with tolerances that are just about perfect. Again, it should be this way if you're going to pay this much, but they're doing a good job executing the quality thus far. So this really isn't meant to be an instructional video to put this together. However, I'm just going to take you along this journey of me putting this together because I figured why not. I will recommend you hand tighten everything first, not just for one of these chairs, but if you're putting together any type of mechanical whatever, it is best to hand tighten all the nuts and bolts first and then come back with your set of wrenches and really drive everything home. So now that the base is complete and really nice and rigid, we're gonna turn our attention to the mechanism that allows you to do the quick adjust on the seat. And I must say, this quick adjust mechanism is pretty dang cool. It really doesn't have very many moving parts, but that's okay because I guess sometimes the simpler the mechanical device is, the better. Basically, after you put in the housing, you're gonna put these two little levers in, just like so. The instructions will tell you how to do it, and then put the top plate on with the four remaining screws. So when we install the seat, you'll see how the quick adjust thing works, but for now, we're gonna install these wheels. Now these wheels are known online to roll over extension cords in the shop. Kinda crazy. Won't cause injury, you won't fall over, and yes, I will be demonstrating and trying this out later in the video, so definitely stay tuned for that. But again, hand tighten everything down and then come back with a couple of different adjustable crescent wrenches, and then you're good to go. Now you can over tighten these. I recommend getting these tight just so, if you know what I mean. Don't bring the spurs to it and use all the strength in the world as it will make the wheel not rotate as well. You might need to take a little bit of adjustment and then you'd be good to go. And with that, this feels extremely robust. Not gonna lie, pretty impressed so far. So now we're gonna turn our attention to the ring that rests on the bottom of the chair. Not only is it a place to rest your feet when you're working, but it does add to the overall rigidity to the chair as well. So just like I said before, hand tighten everything, then come back and tighten everything down, and you're gonna be in great shape. Now, let's turn our attention to the more comfortable aspect of this chair, which are the seat cushions. These are genuine leather seat cushions. You can tell they're really high quality made. And if you're like me, well, you can appreciate that for sure. And you might be wondering, what is all that stuff behind me? Well, if you're new here, let me explain. So before we go any further, let me tell you what we got going on at glimpseinside.org. If you are a maker or in the DIY space, you know that being organized and staying organized is always a challenge. I've got you covered. I make things for makers, whether it's sandpaper storage or CA glue storage as well, from the original tool holder that you see here. And also, if you wanna have a little fun with your video games, I've got video game accessories now available. Plus, one of my favorites is the spray paint can solution that we've come up with. Everything is online at aglimpseinside.org. Every little bit helps. You are really supporting a 
single family when you go there and shop there. I run this business by myself and I really appreciate the support and we have a ton of repeat customers and I would love to have you along to be one of those as well. Thanks guys, back to the video. All right, now back to this leather seat and let's get this thing installed. You can pick any color you want. They offer a variety of different colors for the leather, for the metal, the powder coating. Just go check it out. Again, this is not a sponsored video, but I will put a link down below to Viper Chair. If you're interested in something like this and you want a chair that's gonna last you basically a lifetime, you know, this is where to find it. So you can see here, all the hardware goes in and there's quite a bit of it here to kind of give the most stability and the most rigidity to this thing. They really didn't, I'll leave too much to chance here. Everything is really put together and machined just great. Everything goes in so well. And now you can see this auto adjust feature is fantastic, but there is one more piece of hardware we need to install. And that's a stop washer on the bottom. That way when you lift the seat up, it does just doesn't come flying out at your face. Trust me, I know. Okay, all right, moving on. Now for the most gratuitous thing that I've done in this video is basically taking the back mount and throwing it on the laser and putting my logo in the bottom of it. Now this isn't offered by them, but this is something that I've done for my own personal chair and I think it turned out great. All right, we're outside. One of the claims is that you can take an extension cord and it could be on the ground and these chairs will just roll over it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I've got some standard extension cord. I figured I would try to roll it over twice, okay? And I'm a little apprehensive. I'm kind of thinking, what am I doing? I haven't even tested this yet. I'm trying to get the most genuine reaction on camera. And I figured, why not try to go backwards? Oh. Just like advertised. <laughs> Man, that's freaking ridiculous. All right, so here it is. Now, before I give you my honest review of this thing, let's talk about this. <laughs> this was, if you can see here, it was green at one point. Um, I actually wanted a green back and I was just mistaken at exactly how much green this was on the website or on the commercials uh, or on the advertisements. It didn't look as frog pond green as what came in. So I decided I was gonna spray paint it silver and just kind of go with it and I didn't like it. Couldn't, couldn't stand it, didn't, didn't really turn out that great and uh, you can still see the green through it when I tried to etch it. So I called him back, talked to a guy named Henry uh, and when I called, he answered the phone. Hey Chris, what can I do for you? Pretty awesome. Uh, the fact that my number populated, that I was a customer that he had gone, kind of spent 20, 30 minutes with, talking about building these these, these chairs and this one in particular. Um, and uh, he knew who I was. He said, not a problem. You know, I'll just send you the black powder coated. It's awesome. And that's, that's really the kind of service that you would expect from a high end type of product, right? And that's what you're gonna get. Again, this is not sponsored by them. I promise you that. I just happened to really see their ads on Instagram as we probably all have and decided to take the plunge and well, am I glad I did? Let's see. So how much do I like this chair? Well, I'm gonna tell you, I like it this much. There you go, two of them, okay? Well, honestly, I like it so much because this one you saw me build, this one's for my dad. It's a birthday present for him. And um, I have been, I've been using this one. It's a little bit higher profile, of course. I've got this higher desk here that I work at. Um, I've been using this one for, for months now. And um, it was such a great purchase. And I can't say enough about it. It's so high quality. It's comfortable. It's adjustable on the fly. I mean, the auto adjust, not auto adjust, but the quick adjust is pretty awesome. The fact that that does that is super convenient. And I figured, you know what? His birthday is in the month of May and this guy deserves a chair that he would really never buy for himself. Um, but I recommend you do. Uh, again, this comes down to if you are a fan of say like a compact car to get you from A to B, or you wanna ride up in a little bit more luxury, maybe a Beamer or a Mercedes, who knows what you want, Range Rover, I don't know. Um, we're, we're practical around here. You know, we've got typical GM vehicles to haul the family around, but you know, these are really cool. And I think they are definitely worth the purchase if you can afford it for sure. Because honestly, my five-year-old boy is out there swinging right now. Check it out. Yeah, he's gonna be sitting probably on one of these when he's in his 20s, no doubt. All right, so 
yeah. Would I recommend them? Go ahead, absolutely. Everything's down below, okay? Stuff that we offer, stuff that they offer. Again, not sponsored, but I figured out why not give you an honest review of a product that most people would be conscious of pulling the trigger on. And, uh, and it should be, for sure, because it's a lot of money. But if you do, you won't have buyer's remorse, guarantee you. All right, guys, see you on the next one.